Hey everyone, I'm going to be starting to send out a lot more video communication. Um, given this fall, we're not afforded the opportunity of, of gathering in person as much as we'd like to, certainly as much as I would like to. I want to try to use other means of communication to keep us uh, connected uh, with what's going on in the life of our church and community and hopefully uh, ensuring we're feeling uh, connected and encouraged. Uh, and this is one means of doing that. So uh, as you can see on the screen here, uh, I thought what I'd do first is uh, just walk everyone through our church website, which I've been given a major overhaul to in recent weeks. Uh, I've been picking away at this and uh, recognizing uh, we're in different times and uh, we'll need to use some different forms of communication. And the website is, uh, is a good window into the life of our church, not only for those in the, our faith community, but in the wider community as well. It's a good place to refer people to um, who are wondering about what we're up to in the church and the community. So uh, just take a few minutes to walk us through how to navigate the website. I know many of you maybe have been there, maybe you haven't or you haven't in some time. Um, so this is the homepage when you get to valleyviewcommunitychurch.ca. Uh, simple to remember, just the name of our church.ca. You'll see this homepage and you'll see things uh, scrolling across here. Some of the major things that we're up to that brings your attention to right away. Uh, on the top, you'll see this uh, panel here. We've got the homepage where we're at. I've added a COVID protocols page. So if you scroll down, you'll see right here, we're COVID safe. We've got protocols in place. Maybe that's a good place to start. So if you click either on the top button here, or if you click on the title or the icon down here, just one single click, that'll take you to this page here which just is a quick blurb about uh, how we're instituting health and safety policies for the church and the facility and the uh, full Sunday gathering protocols, which I sent out a couple of weeks ago. If you click on the Word document icon here or the PDF icon here, um, that will download and open up that full document for you. So that's the uh, COVID protocol page. Whenever you're at a different page and you want to get back to the home page, you could click your back button on your browser or just click on home. So I'll click on the home button and that brings me back to the home page. Um, so that's the COVID protocols. We've also got simply who we are and what we do. And so there's a page for our leadership team, those in leadership uh, capacities. Um, if you're new to Valley View for any of that are visiting or people want to check out our church, uh, we've got a, a little page here. And I'll be adding some video components to this page as well, just to talk about uh, sort of the experience and the atmosphere we're cultivating in the life of our church and what to expect on a Sunday morning. But the big emphasis in our church family is our sort of three pronged rhythm of reaching up, reaching in and reaching out. So we've got one page for each of those initiatives. So for reaching up. We've got a page here that just talks about our church vision statement and what our Sunday morning worship experience is about. Got a quick video there with the band performing a song and some pictures from some of the spaces that we typically use on a Sunday morning as we gather for worship. Reaching up, we've also got a reaching in page here. And this is sort of the major uh, ministry initiatives with more of a discipleship focus to them, more for equipping and encouraging those within the body of Christ. So we've got our midday prayer page. We've got our Table Talk Tuesdays, which are beginning this Tuesday evening, and our Tapestry podcast page, which is ongoing. So if you'd like to click on one of those, so for example, Table Talk Tuesdays, there's a short page with a description of that. And I'll be putting uh, every Monday, you will find uh, questions related to the discussion on Tuesday evening via Zoom. And you can access that at this page every week for those that want to hang out Tuesday evenings for time of prayer and discussion and discipleship. That's our Table Talk Tuesday. Uh, same thing, midday prayer gathering. There's a page for our midday prayer gathering and a link to the website for the prayers that we use. 
Common Prayer or Liturgy for Ordinary Radicals is the book we use, but you can access all of the daily prayers. So I would encourage you to take a look at this and I'll be building this page with more prayer resources as well to encourage us to cultivate a rhythm of, of prayer in our own personal lives and corporate prayer together. And of course, our Tapestry podcast, every time we release a new one, I usually send it via email. And here's the guest area here. This is password protected because some of those that are sharing are sharing uh, vulnerable stuff that's only for uh, the rest of our faith community, not necessarily for the wider community. So those are the three reaching in initiatives we currently have on the website. And as we add uh, more things, uh, we'll add them to that page as well. So back to the homepage here and then our reaching out initiatives. Sort of caring for community has always been a major part of who we are as a church. And so some of our reaching out initiatives, certainly the big one right now is our grocery delivery. There's a page devoted to that. Um, the Board Game Cafe, which is temporarily closed due to COVID, possibly hope in 2021 to be able to reopen that. That was a fruitful time on Friday evenings, connecting with those in the church and community. Uh, the, the monthly theology on tap nights that have been virtual for the last few months. Uh, all the information about that and the video sessions are available for those that are interested on the website as well. And then Operation Christmas Child, more on that uh, this Sunday and the upcoming weeks. Karen's got some announcements on some modified uh, Operation Christmas Child activities this fall. Of course, our movie nights, which are now done for the season, but we've got a page devoted to that. And we've got a page uh, related to all of our facility partners and each one of our facility partners here. And if you click on their icon, it will take you to their Facebook page or to their individual websites, a chance to uh, support the local businesses and community partners in the facility that are serving the community all under our one roof. Um, of course, not everyone will be able to, and we had, a, you know, we had about 25 people for our first indoor gathering to be honest, was a little more than I anticipated last Sunday. I know many of you are holding off for a little while before coming to worship in person. And so I do have a Sunday gatherings page. So on the homepage, uh, if you click on Sunday gatherings, or you can click on media button at the top, it will take you to the same place. So if I click on that icon, it takes me to the sermons and media page. And so here you'll have last Sunday's message. I'll try and get those up. And we hope by Thanksgiving to have some live streaming in place. Uh, there's a bit of tech we need to uh, explore and uh, get in our sanctuary. We do have a, a wonderful, uh, highly functional uh, video camera now that we've purchased. And we were able to use that last Sunday. So here's last Sunday's full service. And uh, if you click on previous Sundays, it'll take you to some of the archives. And so I have started putting some sermons from previous weeks and months here. And so you can just scroll through and see. Uh, typically, I'll try and put both the whole video service as well as audio of just the sermon. So if you want to listen to the sermon or if you'd like to watch the entire service, uh, I'll do my best to give both options each week. And I'll continue to go back even over the years and, and update and add more to those archives um, for you all to listen to or watch. So right now we've got some from the summer months, both the Zoom uh, services as well as the parking lot services. You'll also see each week, and I've already got it here for the Sunday upcoming, we've got the Generation Glow resources as well. And so we'll have a little video for the kids and uh, you're welcome you know, parents and kids to watch that video uh, either during the service or during the week to watch and discuss together. Um, tapping into some children's uh, videos from our friends at the Meeting House, Southern Ontario. They just went through a series on wisdom. And since we were going through some of the wisdom books, I thought it would tie in nicely to some of our recent conversations. And so there'll be something available for the kids online every Sunday as well. And you can access that just clicking on the Sunday gatherings, or if you click on the media page, it'll take you to the same spot as well. And so you'll see here, I've already got the Generation Glow uh, for this upcoming Sunday here available. Try and get that up every Friday or Saturday in advance. I'm gonna add a, a children's activity worksheet as well. 
Uh, you'll see also the bulletin from the previous week, and I've already got the bulletin in place for uh, this Sunday as well for you to access by clicking on the Word document or the PDF document. And so that's what we've built into the website thus far. Um, I'll be uh, I'll be sprinkling in some some personal videos and blogs as well, just some things that are on my heart. Um, I'm really missing a lot of the face-to-face -face conversations I'm not able to have with many of you. And uh, that being said, uh, if you'd like to grab a coffee, it'd be great to catch up. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to use the website as much as possible uh, to keep us all informed and updated and connected, not only us, but the wider community as well. A couple other things upcoming. Uh, we're going to be collaborating with uh, one of our community partners. And so one of our community partners um, is uh, Clint at Body Balance Studio. Many of you know Clint, and we've got some government grant money. We're going to be able to partner with Clint uh, Body Balance to, uh, to do some fitness classes for seniors in the community. So I'll be posting those on our website as well. Uh, as it may, maybe some of you want to take advantage of that as well. It's, not prim it's primarily for seniors, but anybody. It's just some... Uh, some simple fitness exercises and we were able to get some funds from the government to get us this camera to do some things for seniors and so it's a good opportunity to collaborate uh, with some of our community partners in the building and so there's uh lots going on and we wanted to capture as much as possible on our church website to give uh, people in the church and the community a, a, both a window into what's happening and a means of of connecting and growing in your faith and service of the community so uh, stay tuned. I'll try and uh, give weekly updates as things get updated, but I just wanted to take a few minutes to walk everyone through our church website. And uh, if you see anything that is lacking or needs to be tweaked or added, I definitely would uh, welcome your feedback as well. So that's, uh, that's everything today. I hope to see some of you on Sunday. Uh, for those that can't make it, I'll do my best to get the, uh, the sermon and the full service up on the website by Sunday evening uh, so you can be nourished and encouraged as we uh, discuss the prophet Isaiah and the importance of having a prophetic imagination. I think it'll be a, a message that will be encouraging for all of us. So hope to see you Sunday. For those that aren't there, uh, please take advantage of uh, what's on the website and uh, look forward to connecting with many of you soon.